This Saturday marks the 35th anniversary of one of the five ties in Texas Oklahoma rivalry history. It wasn't the first tie, it wasn't the last tie, but it was surely the most controversial. The Longhorns were led by current Westlake coach Todd Dodge. I was the starting quarterback for the Horns that day, and uh, we were the number one in the nation, and they were number two. It was a rainy, slippery afternoon where mistakes were the theme and offense was optional. Well, when we came into this ball game, we knew it was going to be a tough defensive day, and we're going to count on our kicking. I can remember uh, getting hit on a sprint out pass by Brian Bosworth, hit me, and I went sliding into OU's bench in the third quarter. Coach Switzer fell down on top of me, and and he was smoking a cigarette on the sideline. That was Switzer's go-to whenever the game was getting tight. And after he decided to take an intentional safety to cut the Sooners lead to three in the second half, tight is exactly what it was. With the clock approaching zero, Dodge marched the Longhorns right into field goal range, but first decided to take a shot at the end zone and go for the win. The result, now the subject of decades of debate. And it is incomplete. The interception should have never been in question. Because it was a big time pass interference before the you know before it ever happened you know. Oklahoma defensive back Keith Stanberry looked to have secured the game for the Sooners, but the officials ruled he had stepped out of bounds before securing the ball. Everybody's got their opinions on those things. And it led to the Longhorns kicking a game tying field goal in the final seconds. The kick is up. It is good. Now Dodge will tell you one thing. Pretty empty feeling in our locker room. There was no um, you know no feeling of. A victory, really. Others will say that Texas won, 15 to 15. When he caught it, his he landed out of bounds. He landed right on the line. So no, he, it was no, it was an incomplete pass. <laughs>